accessible art has been our number one practice since day one, three years ago. Uh, we started in kind of small warehouse spaces, but realized that they were too isolated. They were continuing to just make art, yeah, a little bit, a little bit terrifying for people to go up and engage with. Um, and we just found this huge need for emerging artists to show their work and for just kind of your everyday person to experience it in their everyday. <laughs> so uh, we decided to make it more accessible by putting it to restaurants and then from there, restaurants and hair salons and nightclubs, and then went on to put them into the streets. So doing, doing murals. Um, and so now we've even gone further and gone into, we have a residency program. So not only are people seeing the end product of something, they're now seeing the process itself. I think it was pretty self-curated, hey? It was. We had so, a lot of... So me and Graham, once they told us, okay, well, here's our concept, cohesive devices, essentially me and Graham met one another and went through our work. And they told us that they wanted six images from me, six images from Graham for a total of 12. And we just try to find images that really respond to one another, taking into account what the cohesive devices are. And so, you know, we went through a couple of iterations until we finally chose the, the 12 that you're actually seeing right now. I think a few ago. Like Chloe said, when we went and started curating this show, it was kind of her vision of wanting to have repeated photographic images all throughout the gallery and then I kind of went away and thought of ways that we could tie that together and kind of restrain it into a into a curatorial kind of framework within mm -hmm. the gallery because the gallery is so big and it can yeah. it can be a bit overwhelming so you need a bit of structure and a little bit of uh, kind of a framework to work within so mm -hmm. luckily this this grammatical kind of route that I went has this natural framework built into it. So each of the walls in the gallery is organized by um, a different uh, uh, category of cohesive device. So there's a wall that speaks to agreement, one that speaks to opposition, and one that speaks to uh, consequence. And so the words that are painted on the wall are examples of cohesive devices that would fit into those themes on each wall and then we chose photos that also spoke to that and combinations that we thought spoke to those that curatorial framework so it was kind of a, a nice way to impose a pre-existing framework onto it. Was a, it was a good balance too because was. like we know each other so well that we would just go to each other's houses go through our like archives of photographs and then um, choose that way which was really nice it's not somebody coming into your studio or coming into your space it's sort of we got to choose they gave us feedback and then the it was never forced it was a natural process mm -hmm. and so that's what was really refreshing about this whole project